Now, Eyewitness Sports. For Montoursville native Mike Mussina officially inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame and his plaque revealed for the first time. Mussina chose not to have a logo on his cap on the plaque as he split his time in the majors almost equally between the Baltimore Orioles and New York Yankees. And with that, hello and welcome out to Cooperstown, New York, the home of the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum since 1939. I'm A.J. Donatoni and we are live tonight where it's been a glorious day for six individuals, six new members of the the Baseball Hall of Fame, Mariana Rivera, Edgar Martinez, the late Roy Halladay, Harold Baines, Lee Smith, and of course, Mike Mussina. Moose is the reason that we have made the journey to upstate New York ourselves. He pitched 18 seasons in Major League Baseball and accrued one of the finest careers and resumes among starting pitchers in the modern era. Between his first 10 years with the Orioles and last eight with the Yankees, Moose racked up 270 wins and made five all-star teams. He was also a seven-time Gold Glove winner. And in his sixth year on the ballot, Messina finally received enough votes to earn his moment of glory in Cooperstown. I have a special welcome for all the Orioles fans, all the Yankee fans, and to all the central Pennsylvania people who drove up here for today's ceremony. My baseball journey began in the backyards of our neighborhood back in my hometown of Montoursville, Pennsylvania. Montoursville is located right next to Williamsport, the home of Little League Baseball and both are connected to Cooperstown by about a 200-mile stretch of the Susquehanna River. To the Orioles fans who came out every game, 48,000 strong to support us and to support me, thank you. I have some great baseball memories from those years, and I loved pitching in orange and black. To all the Yankee fans everywhere, thank you for your support during my eight years in pinstripes. I have tons of great stories from those years, the Subway Series matchups with the Mets, the Red Sox rivalry, historic playoff games, including my first ever relief appearance in Game 7 of the 03 ALCS. It is definitely not easy to be the family of a professional baseball player or any family who has someone who is not able to be home all the time. That's one of the toughest parts of this game. To my wife, Jana, who raised our three children by herself most of the time for most of those years, thank you for being this family's foundation. I love you, honey. To our children, Kira, Bryson, and Peyton, I'm sorry I wasn't always around during those years, but these last 11 years have been great and I never once regretted retiring when I did. As you can see, things worked out nicely. Thank you to baseball for an awesome ride, to all the fans for supporting this great game, and to all of you for being here with me today. Thank you. Those were just a few excerpts from a roughly 12-minute speech delivered by Moose. Mike Messina is the first person from our viewing area to be inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame since umpire Nestor Shylock in 1999. He's from Lackawanna County. And for Moose, for number 35, it's been quite a journey from central Pennsylvania to upstate New York. Mike Messina's journey to Cooperstown started in Montoursville. He was a standout high school pitcher with a record of 24 and 4 and an ERA of 0 0.87. However, he wasn't selected in the early rounds of the 1987 MLB draft, so instead, I'm leaning towards going to school. Uh, that looks like my best, my best opportunity. Uh, you know, barring injury and such, uh, I'll have another chance to go pro. Following three seasons with Stanford University, where he earned his degree, Messina was drafted in the first round by the Baltimore Orioles in 1990. His pro debut with the AA Hagerstown Suns took him back home to historic Bowman Field in Williamsport, where his first outing was cut short by rain. A phantom debut, I guess, because nothing really counted, but, but uh, you know, it, it counted to me because I got to get out there and throw it to some hitters, and uh, I feel pretty good about it. Then in 1991, at the AAA level with Rochester, Messina visited then Lackawanna County Stadium to face the Scranton Wilkesbury Red Barons, and from there, the majors were inevitable. Whatever happens is going to happen, and uh, and I enjoy playing AAA, and uh, you know, I've been very fortunate. The rest is Major League history. Mussina pitched parts of 10 seasons for the Orioles, making five American League All-Star teams. He then pitched eight years for the New York Yankees and capped off his career in style in 2008. In his final start, Mussina accomplished something he hadn't before. He won his 20th game in a single season for the first time. And at the age of 39, Moose closed out his Hall of Fame career. 
After his retirement from baseball, Musina moved back to his hometown and continued to raise his family there. And his family accompanied him to Cooperstown on Sunday, including son Bryson, who was a standout quarterback from Montoursville High School over the last few years. Although Bryson was just 10 years old when Mike retired, he says he's grown to appreciate his father's career more over the years, and he was thrilled to be there today for the Hall of Fame induction. It's a crazy experience overall. It's pretty cool for. Um, you know, for my dad and our family and, you know, everyone here that's uh, able to celebrate with us, it's, it's just a good time and, you know, I'm looking to enjoy all of it. You know, I, I look up to him because of the, the, the things that he, you know, the way that he is and, um, you know, I really appreciate him, you know, doing the things that he does for us and for, for the town and everything. Bryson currently plays football at Shippensburg University. And one of Messina's former teammates was also inducted into the Hall of Fame on Sunday. Enter Sandman. Longtime Yankees closer Mariano Rivera got in on the first ballot. He's the first player in history to receive 100% of the vote, a unanimous selection to the Hall. Rivera is by far the best closer in Major League history, the all-time leader in saves, and a 2.21 career ERA. Not to mention, Mo's a five-time World Series champion with the Yankees, the 1999 World Series MVP, and a 13-time All-Star. Here in New York, it has been a day that Montoursville's Mike Messina and many folks from Central and Northeastern Pennsylvania won't forget anytime soon. Across the way over at the museum, Messina's plaque will be displayed forever among baseball's best in the Hall of Fame. That's your check on sports from Cooperstown, New York. We'll be right back.